Hello, I'm Jason with scienceandmath.com. In this lesson, what we're going to do is continue working with the greatest common factor. But in this case, we're going to try to find the greatest common factor between three numbers. Now, if you recall from the last section, we were given two numbers, and to find the greatest common factor between those two, we list the factors out, and then we look for the largest one that's common. Well, you see, it doesn't matter if you're given two numbers or three numbers or four numbers or whatever. You can do the same process for as many numbers as you have. So what we're going to do here is apply it to three numbers to give you an idea of how to do that. So if you wanted to find the greatest common factor between the number 6, 24, and 18, then here is how you would do it. The first thing you'd do is you would write down your first number, which in this case is number 6, and you would write down the factors. So, number 1 is always a factor because it can divide evenly into 6. Number 2 is a factor because 2 times 3 is 6. Uh, number 3 is a factor because 3 times 2 is 6. 4 and 5, neither one of those are factors because they cannot be divided evenly into number 6. But the number itself, of course, is always a factor. So we can list that out. Then we look at our middle number. So here's the number 24. And we list all the factors. Now it can get a little tricky, so we need to just make sure and do it step by step. The number 1 is a factor because it can divide in. The number 2 is a factor because 2 times 12 is 24. The number 3 is a factor because 3 times 8 is 24. The number 4 is a factor because 4 times 6 is 24. The number 5 is not a factor, but the number 6 is a factor because 6 times 4 is 24. Uh, the number 7 is not a factor because it cannot go in. But the number 8 is a factor because 8 times 3 is 24. You go 9, 10, and 11. None of those are factors because they cannot be divided in. But the number 12 is a factor because 12 times 2 is 24. And if you keep marching up 13, 14, 15, you'll find that none of those can divide in, so they're not factors. So the last one on all these lists is always the number itself. Notice the last number is always the number itself. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24, those are all the factors of this number. Now let's look at the number 18. Okay, so the number 1 is a factor. The number 2 is a factor because 2 times 9 is 18. The number 3 is a factor because 3 times 6 is 18. 4 and 5 are not factors because they don't go in evenly. But the number 6 is a factor because 6 times 3 is 18. 7 and 8 you can skip because they don't go in. But number 9 is a factor because 9 times 2 is 18. And then you just keep going on and on, and the last guy that you find is the number 18, the number itself. So all we've done is write all the factors of all the numbers, and we can see right away that the number 1 is a common factor, okay? The number 2 is a common factor, the number 3 is a common factor, but the greatest common factor is actually the number 6 because that is the largest factor that's common to all three of these lists. So you see, it doesn't matter if you're finding the greatest common factor between two numbers, or if you're finding the greatest common factor between three or four or five numbers, the procedure is the same. So you're just finding all the factors of each number, which you get a little practice with, as you do these with, with me, and then you just circle the one that is the largest one that's common. Okay, the largest one that's common. So let's do another one here. Let's say we're going to find the greatest common factor between the numbers 32, 8, and 40. And of course, the larger the numbers that you have, the more factors you're going to have because the more things can be multiplied together to give you that number. So let's switch colors here a little bit and say, all 